Katie Hoagland, and I work with Tutoring in Los Angeles. Tutoring in Los Angeles offers personalized, one-on-one, -on -one, home-based tutoring services in all subjects and test prep, including the GED. In this clip, I'm going to be talking about how to pass the GED. Most people come prepared with the basic knowledge they need in order to do well on the GED, but a little extra review never hurts. Most people haven't really done algebra, geometry, and things like that in a very long time, and so reviewing these subjects is key to be able to pass the math portion of the test. Doing extra problems, even looking back maybe at old textbooks or in GED review books is an excellent way to prepare for this section. For the language arts sections, practicing reading and writing is very, very helpful. Even things like reading news articles or writing in a blog online can be very helpful in sort of refining your skills to ensure that you will do very well on the test prep it's, or on the test itself. It's also important for the social studies and science sections to keep up with current events. While this test is based more on past knowledge and things to, of that nature, the more involved you are in these subjects, the more familiar you're going to be, and the more familiar you are with anything, the more likely you are to do well on the test. Another important thing while preparing for the GED is organization. It's very important to have a well-planned out regimen for how you're going to prepare. Taking practice tests is one of the best ways to do that. That also will help with your timing. Timing is key on these tests. You're only given a certain amount of time to answer the questions that are presented to you, and so you have to know how to budget your time, work on the easier answers first, and then go back to try to work on the harder problems. This makes sure that you answer as many questions as possible. It's also good when you can narrow down the number of choices that to guess. You are not penalized for guessing on the GED, and that's a very important thing. If you can get it down to two answer choices, you have a 50-50 chance of getting the right answer, even if you're not 100% certain.